Hello and welcome back to the Qt Office video tutorial series. This video tutorial is going to cover how to import your team members from Mary Kay and Touch. So right now we're on the home page of Qt Office and we're going to go to the My Team tab which is the very far right. Now keep in mind if you're on an iPad right now or another tablet you cannot export the file you need to from in touch. So you're going to have to do this from a laptop or full size computer. But the good news is you can do it from a Windows computer or a Mac, it doesn't really matter and pretty much any browser so let's get started let's go ahead and click on my team and we're gonna click on import team members from in touch but before we do that you can also add team members individually and if you want to do that later you can it's really easy it's just like adding a customer so let's go to import team member from in touch the buttons right here and here's the instruction page in text. So the video is going to cover all this, so you don't have to read this right now. But if you need to refer back to it, or if you want to go ahead and just use the text version, you can stop this video and do that. And if you get behind at all with the video while you're logging into InTouch, you can always just pause this video and replay when you're ready to catch up. So we're going to be looking for a CSV file. A CSV file is a comma separated value file. Now, you really don't need to know that, but we get that question a lot, so CSV is comma separated value. Before we can browse for the file, which is looking for the file on your computer, we have to export the file from InTouch so we can download it to your computer. Qt has a quick link to InTouch up here in the top right corner, so if you left click on this, it'll bring up a new tab to the InTouch homepage. If you're already logged into InTouch from a previous time, it'll be logged in for you. If not, you can go ahead and log in. I already have my page selected, so I'm going to go ahead and click log in. I've already logged into InTouch, so go ahead and get logged in, and then we're going to go to the Business Tools tab. And the Business Tools tab is located right here. From here, we're going to go down to My Business, and then to your Consultant List. So again, this is Business Tools, My Business, and Consultant List. If you've already done your customer import, you're going to notice this is very similar. And if you have not done your customer import yet, please do that first and then come back to the import team member video. Go ahead and click your consultant list sub tab. And it's going to bring you to the view of all your customers. Now we have blurred out the bottom part here for privacy, but what we need to look for here is the export list button. You don't have to click anything else on this page except export list. The final view of the export list is going to be a view similar to a print page. If you don't want to import anyone in, then you can just uncheck the boxes over here on the left, but generally you're going to go ahead and import everyone in anyway. The final step in InTouch is going to be the export list button. So we're going to go ahead and click that now. And we're going to make sure save file is checked, and then we'll hit OK. But before you hit OK, Make sure you are not on open with and then some kind of application. You want to save this file. If you try to open it with any application, there could be an error when you try to import it later. This is because some of the headers can get switched around. So we're always going to choose save file. Go ahead and click OK. After you click OK, the file will be saved to your computer in some location. Mine saved to the downloads folder. But depending on your browser and computer type, it could save to multiple folders. Some possible locations are your desktop, your downloads folder, or your documents folder. Again, this could change for different kinds of browsers, so please check in all those places. Now from this step, I am done with Mary Kay and Touch. So I'm going to go back to Qt Office, and I'm going to look for that folder that I just downloaded to my computer, or the file that I just exported, then downloaded to my computer. So I'm going to click the browse button here and if you're on a Mac it may say something else like import or something else entirely. But this button is going to have the same feature uh, no matter what it says here. It's going to let you look for the file. So we're going to go ahead and click this button and we're going to find that file. Now I know where my file is at because I did a test run before here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. You don't have to really pay attention to the file path that I am using because it's going to be completely different for your computer. But you're going to try to navigate to your downloads folder, your documents folder, or your desktop. 
You can also try to search for your folder here or if you are on a Mac it'll be in the very top right corner or some Windows computers you can do a search under the start button here. Your folder will be called consultant and should not have any number behind it. The only reason this has a number behind it is because I've already downloaded a couple practice runs of this video. Double click on the file, it will be added to this line here and notice it's showing the file path not the actual file but it's showing me the location which is what you want. We're going to go ahead and click import and this will be the final step. It's going to tell me that I selected one, I successfully imported one and no imports failed. If you do get a failed import it could be due to duplicates and what I mean by that is if you have a customer named Margaret Smith and she became a team member later. If you have Margaret Smith in your customers, she cannot also be a team member unless the name is a little bit different. The reason for this is because a lot of times your customers will be team members or you're, you might lose a team member and they might go back to a customer. And because you can move the people back and forth, you cannot have duplicates. So if you'd like to check, the final step would actually be to check and make sure that it's showing up correctly under my team. And again, we've blurred this out for privacy reasons, but you can see your team member or team members showing up here. And while we're here, let's go ahead and take a look at the icons over here. You can take notes on your team member just like any of your customers. You can do a follow-up with your team member. You can look at their profile. This button here will make them into a customer, and then you can actually make them back into a team member later. You can email them if they have an email address on file, which will be listed over here and you can create a loaned and borrowed product with them. And if you do need to learn more about the loaned and borrowed product feature, you can do that under inventory and loaned and borrowed. There's a loaned and borrowed product video for you there. So hopefully you enjoyed this QT video. Thank you for watching and thank you for being a QT.